running your guys' name. Let's go look at the damage on your car. Which is this is your car? Go. I, I asked him very nicely when he came right back to my door to get off the bike, and then he yeah. fled. <laughs> and so I said, okay. Damn, this car was going super fast. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to DOJ. Jumping in here with a reckless driver, someone who is speeding. I heard him, like, drift around the corner. So let's just go ahead and verify if this is a person or not. I believe they had no doors. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the uh, lights here. This motherfucker is blacked out. Um, not blacked out, but all the doors are blown out. That's what I meant to say. Uh, so we're gonna have a traffic stop on them. Not normal, usually how I start the videos, but that's okay. Always different. One key 24, 10, 11. One king 24, good. 044 Deleuze Avenue on a four-door pink vehicle, occupied times one, no 32. Got what the fuck was that? Right next to the fucking hooker. Seems legit. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. I hope there's, uh, someone else out here. Oh my god, what is this? How you doing? Hello. You look awfully familiar. That's great, you don't. Can I get your license registration insurance, please? I don't, I don't have that, I'm sorry. Well, you're driving a motor vehicle, so I would expect that you would have that. I'm just traveling, sir. Oh, okay. Well, you're going to need a license and registration to be able to operate this motor vehicle, which is missing two doors and a lot of windows. Um, I don't have that. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, do me a favor and step out of the car, then. We're going to figure out what your name is. I, I feel I feel safer inside of my vehicle. It doesn't matter what you feel safer at. I'm telling you to get out of the car so we can figure out your name, since you already told me you don't have a license on you, so... What happens if I don't step out? Well, then it's gonna be not, you know, paying attention to a lawful order, and then that's a crime. So you're not committing crimes right now if you just listen to me. There you go. Just go to the front of my car. Like I said, I just want to figure out what your name is and stuff. Why you're driving around without a license, no windows, two doors missing. Okay, so what's your first name? Good. If you had a card, my first uh, name is Big. Box, All right, last name. Uh, you can cancel them. A little. I'm assisting with transfer all right. Row. You uh, family? Yeah, are Indian you related Indian to all the other littles? Yes. Oh, nice little family. Okay, could you turn these lights off, please? They're really bright in my face. All right, just relax for me. Um, where do you, where do you live? I live in Harmony. Harmony, okay. What you doing out here tonight? Go ahead. I just want to, um... It's a legit ass traffic stop, except relatives? for the bitch in the background. Visit some relatives. Who, who lives out here that lives in the little, or that's a part of the little family? Oh, it's just my grandma. Just your grandma, okay. Grandma Little. Yep. Okay. Well, sit tight really quick. I'm gonna run your name. Uh, just stay out of the car, okay? If you wanna pop a squad against my car, that's fine. Okay. Hey, could you please stop... Could you please stop my ball in my car, ma'am? I like how he pulled up next to her, even though he says that. Can you please leave... Fuck me, she said. <laughs> That's Thank great. you. Revoked, no. Suspended, no. I think it's gonna be this one. Shorts. Multiple arrest reports. But, oh, it shows the actual division that did it, too. That's cool. Play. Hey, you too, lady. What is he doing? Hey, didn't I tell you to stay near my car and lean against it, and now you're all the way over there? You're touching up against right people. Lady. CPS 450 Tango. I don't think you want to get arrested for unwanted touching, do you? Can you come out to your She's car, smoking a cigarette and it stinks. 
It's it, we're outside, dude. That is her prerogative. I need you to step back towards the vehicle and sit against my car, please. And she looks like she's oh, uh, that's disgusting. Fuck this. <laughs> See, legit. That's perfect. Against my car, sir. Yeah, that's what I thought. You better walk away. Okay, we've got to just see. Not reported stolen. Car is very clean. Uh, so we're going to give him an unroadworthy vehicle, which is what he's going to get. Just because of the fact that um, he's driving a vehicle. Oh, my lord. He's driving a vehicle that has two windows and two doors blown out. I don't know if he was... Uh... Sir, can you come over here and explain why your windows and doors are missing? I'm sorry, what? I said, can you come over here and explain to me why your doors and windows are missing to your vehicle? Um... I kind of, kind of got in a little accident earlier and, uh, kind of, like, fell off a mountain, but I'm okay. <laughs> okay, the, where the did you fall off though. the mountain? Yeah, I can see that. Was it over the direction you came from in Mount Chiliad? Yeah, up in, uh, Mount Chiliad, yeah. I took the, um, I took the, the back way here. Like, you know, through, um, through the mountains. Okay, are you going to get the vehicle fixed? Um, I can't afford that, honestly, Truck dude. Building. I'm, I'm, I'm broke. Okay, well, you know I can't let you drive the vehicle Truck around like that unless you're going to go get it fixed really quick. I mean, the, the people with Jeeps, they, they, they don't have doors. You're missing glass, and you're missing doors. Which, if the vehicle comes standard with that equipment, you're supposed to have that vehicle equipment on the car. I'm sorry, stock, so, not standard. So what do you want me to do? Uh, you can take it to the shop immediately upon our traffic stop finishing and get it fixed. Or I could tow it. I don't have enough money. Well, there's a shop in Polito. You can take it to Polito, or we could tow it. And tow it because it can't be on the road. Watch out. Okay, so here it's going to be a ticket for the um, vehicle equipment, which is you driving around with that. You did a like a drift around the corner over there, although I didn't really get any good information on that, so I'm more worried about the vehicle equipment. My apologies, you're risking tonight. Stay by the all right, just sign the bottom of the citation. It's going to be for the vehicle equipment, $134. Not admission to guilt. Just saying you're going to take care of them, Corp. Relax, sir. It's just sunlight. These are really bright. It's hurting my eyes. Just sign the bottom of the ticket and you'll get out of here. And then we have to figure out what's going on with the car, but at least you'll be closer to getting out of here. All right, there's your copy along with your information back. So, are you going to take the car down to the shop and leave it there and get picked up by someone else, or are we going to tow I, it? I can't afford it, dude. I said you can leave it there and wait till you can afford it, or you can let us tow it. What do you want to do? I I can... You can tow it if you want me to, but I got to get <laughs> to Grandma's house. Okay, well, Polito's not that big, so if you want to walk to Grandma's house, you're more than welcome to do so. You're free to go now. I'll just tow the car. Okay. Alright, give a good day now. Can I get my... Can I get my... Uh... You're free to get any belongings from the vehicle that you would like, yes. So, his license plate is private citizen. Clearly, I think he was trying to be one of those citizen guys, but that did not work, this, <laughs> that that uh, scene for him. So, he just kind of had to fold under pressure on that one. I'm going to call myself 10-8 here. Three whiskey, two, I'm going to need to get a tow truck. I don't think there's any tow right now, which is all right. We'll just get it good. All right, have a good day. Oh, shit, what are you doing? Are you some kind of idiot? Oh, uh, I'm okay. Yeah, you could take your little happy ass somewhere else with that shit. <laughs> God damn it.
God damn it, dude. Thank you. Yeah. Oh shit, that's grandma's house. Three whiskey tonight, negative, sir. Oh, he's running. Alright, as long as he doesn't try to steal a car. Okay, I was gonna say, that's pretty jank if that's grandma's house right next to the fucking traffic stop that we had. Um, Alright, I don't think there's any tow right now, uh, so we're just gonna get county... Actually, what we can do is I could... We're not that far from the police station, to be truthfully honest. I'm gonna just get a tow truck. Okay, County Tow has came and got the vehicle, even though technically I think he just spawned a new car around the corner. Which makes our job a little easier. So, now we're just gonna go 10-8. We're gonna go get gas like we were normally gonna do. Uh, I didn't even get to do my intro, and I heard that guy go around the corner abnormally fast with like a whole bunch of engine sound and stuff, so I knew it was not legit. And as I looked, I saw... Which was like no doors, and I knew if I saw no doors, and that most likely meant what I saw was legit. Walking 24, traffic stops, and be co 4 back to name. I can be shotgun number 68, so Okay, so that's an interesting old ass car. Grab some gas here. I was not expecting any of that shit to go down in Polito, out of all places, but. Always nice to get some uh, traffic stops or calls in Polito. That I just always drive through it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know what I just heard someone portray, but that was great. Where's my freaking plane? What the shit, dude? That was great. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, well, we're still out in Polito. I'm not, not. Uh, I'm today. not not digging Pleto, does that make any sense? Yeah. Um, but I, I feel like I would like to stay in Blaine County Sheriff if I am going to stay in Polito for a bit. And then of course if we don't get much going on in Polito, we can move from Polito into uh, kind of like Blaine County and kind of get it popping there. Oops, I made it super confusing. Here, I'm going to go this way, you go that way, there you go. Good. We have about six individuals fighting on the street. Zero, one, eight. Over, one oh, shit. Another car gets stolen. Cap, you name. I'm right here. They hit my car. We're, I don't even know where they went. This guy. What do they this look guy like? hit my car. Yeah, hold your this guy hit my car! Okay, there's a lot of people here. Everyone on the sidewalk, please. Sidewalk. Monkey24, you can show me on scene. What is up? What did you see, Cooper? What's up? Oh, oh, shit, I saw that. <laughs> there it is. I just arrived on scene. Uh, oh, okay. Who called it out? Control two tango one five one. That was me. Okay, so you did see something. Okay. Control. Okay. In regards so, to what are you guys airport. doing? You two over here. Airport. You are a disgrace to this society. This Reporting party in indicates car. that the suspicious person. This guy hit you with his car. Level arrivals in between oh, signs one and him. two before the first well, parking uh, garage. I, I got out of my car. Because he uh, stuck the middle finger out at me. And for and, a copy. Uh, you know, we, we just pretty much proceeded to, uh, to film him. Five, and uh, he started getting all upset. And uh, this is when the trooper okay. showed up. Filming the whole thing. Kind of like a pretty good, uh, series. Yeah, that's why I asked what you guys are doing. Goddamn millennial! And this is this is just my, uh, this is my bodyguard. Um, oh. Just, you know, for guys like him over there. Alright, so how about you guys just go step up against that wall there in front of uh, Peckerwood and I'll be there with you in a second. Get your IDs ready. How you doing, sir? How you doing? Finally someone with some goddamn sense! Alright, do me a favor and give me an explanation of what happened here. So the, the, the guy in the blue shirt with the big ass camera looks like he's the fucking... Looks like he's a reporter for Weasel News! Okay. E, you driving the you driving the, the SUV over there, 
and I came to a stop at the stop sign and he rear-ended me. And I got out and I wanted his insurance and he didn't give it to me. Okay. Alright. So did you crash? Did he, he crash into you, you said? I'm. Uh... Yes, he crashed into me. Okay. Like a dumbass. Okay, keep the name calling out of it. All right, just do me a favor, step up against the uh, bakery here. Thanks. And do me a favor and get your this ID. This is ridiculous. All right, can I get your guys' ID, please? Yeah. Since we got so many IDs, just drop it in the chat for me. All right, there's mine. All right, who's Jeff? Me. Okay, Jeff is the guy that's shirtless. He's, the guy's Jeff. The... He's my boss. Okay, now Jeff is the guy in the blue shirt. The beef is the guy to the left. Okay, I'm gonna sit tight yeah. really quick. Let's get these names ran. If you could run these. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You got an ID on your partner? Yes. I have my military ID. I served this country in World War II. Okay, go ahead and hand it over. Prank call, okay. Alright, can you do me a favor and run this? His name's Frank Hall. Someone wanna kill that siren. What's his name? What's the guy that's on scene? He's clearly tabbed out of game. I can't remember. There we go. All right. They're gonna run your name. They're running your guys' name. Let's go look at the damage on your car. Which is this? Is your car right here? The two-tone. This is my car. Yes. Okay. I've let's had look it at it really quick. Thirty years. Get out of my shot, lady. All right, let's take a look around and see what we got. Rear bumper is scratched and dented. What the fuck? Okay. So I am... Okay, they're all good. All three of them? Yeah. Okay. Alright, um... So I am seeing a little bit of damage on the bumper here. Um, and you said that was from the accident, sir? That was from their careless driving, correct. And tell that dude to put the damn camera down, he's in my face. No, we're, we're beyond that, and he's really far away from you at this point, so... Alright, do me a favor and step back up to the yellow wall for me. I appreciate it. Okay, so real quick, we have, uh... Damage to the back of his vehicle. At any point, did you guys strike his car or anything in a, you know, accidental fender bender or something? One five. I don't know, I got close, but... I was okay. on the camera, so I was trying to, I was trying to focus on So who was driving the vehicle? Was. Okay. I was holding the camera. Uh, so inside the scratch, I got little remnants and transfers of purple paint. It looks like so, and it it does look fresh, like it literally just happened. Um, you know, there's no dirt or anything that's got inside the scratch or chips or anything like that. So it, it literally just happened. Well, I mean, a fender bender is still a fender bender, right? So is there information that you guys have insurance-wise that we could swap and get this party rolling? Is that your guys' car on the curb over there? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my question real quick is, how the hell do you go from, I assume, driving uh, eastbound down Polito Boulevard to somehow facing into the storefront on the curb? We, uh, we had some incidents with some, with some locals. Where's my car? Okay. Oh, it's over there. Alright, um... 
Well, at this point, I'm going to need you guys to go over to the vehicle, if that's where it's at, and get your insurance information. I'm going to have this gentleman get his insurance information. All of you guys check out when I ran your guys' IDs, so as long as everything's good with the insurance swap, we can go. Okay, one of you go get it, the other one stay here, please. Alright, sir. You got insurance information, we're going to go ahead and do a swap here. They did admit to obviously hitting you. Um, get your insurance stuff. Everything's good. Cool, cool. Hey, step over here. You guys are all doing good, and you're going to get to the point where I'm not fucking around. Sir, in the red, go on the yellow shirt. Guy in the blue, go over there on the Peckerwood store. Yeah, well, that's the thing is you're involved in this investigation that's going on here for a motor vehicle accident. And yes, I've gave you an order to step against the wall, and that's what I want you to do. You might think that you have the right to film right now, but you are not permitted to not do what I say, considering the fact that you are involved in this scene. Just making sure you don't get hit by a car. detained right now? I mean, in retrospect, I could. Like, it can go many ways. Well, interesting. I mean, I can sit here and I can dictate my interpretation of the law, or you can just go ahead and follow the simple commands that have been given. Yeah, you got a nice fade there, I must say. Got a good shot of that. Perfect. Glad we're listening now. Uh, and that's not the wall that I said. I said the Peckerwood wall. Because you're now turning out to be a Peckerwood. Oh, Jesus. Well, that was me. All right, now that we got cooperation, can you stop pointing like ETs passing on a bicycle and you're there during the production of it? Come on, dude. What are you doing? This is my registration. Okay, well, I don't know why you were holding. This is my. His finger's gone. Your finger's not looking too good at all. What is going on? All right, you can put your hand down. All right, I appreciate it. Here, swapping it. There you go. You take his. Hey, you take his. The road? Damn it! Come on, hold your retention for five more minutes. We can do it. There you go. Take his insurance. We shouldn't even have to facilitate a motor vehicle accident like this unless there's pretty traumatic injuries, but. Alright, sir, get out of here. Alright, so you two gentlemen can go back to your vehicle. Please pull it off the curb very carefully since you guys are parked in a jank thing. Um, sir, in the two-tone car, you can go ahead and jump back in your vehicle and pull off into traffic. We're good, sir. Get that goddamn camera out of my face. Come on. Hey, don't come That's what I like thought. That. I got freedom to camera. Let's go. No, you're standing in the middle of the road now obstructing traffic. Absolutely. But oh damn, my car just. Can I go? Fuck, I gotta get a car. Um. Shit. I guess there was too much people walking around that it made the car disappear, which happens. So let's go ahead and do saved vehicles. Did I pass by emergency? No. And we're, we're doing a slick top pass. Gonna eat. Oh, I thought I was gonna eat the car, but I guess not. See, I didn't save it too, like a, like a noob. All right, at least he was able to get his car going. This one is not necessarily set up the way I had the last one. I did not have um, all this stuff, so I'm gonna do a really quick removal. I think that's the AOPRs, yeah. There we go. Makes it a little more symmetrical with the lights. Alright, let's get out of here. I really gotta get gas. I mean, this one spawned with absolutely nothing, unfortunately, since we had to spawn a new vehicle. Which does happen, but that was a pretty, uh... Pretty epic call. I didn't know there was that many people out in Polito Bay. I'm just out there thinking it's hella quiet and shit sitting at the motel that I always sit at. And then next thing I know, uh, he said there was like six people 
out on the roadway there, which I guess it looked a lot more than there actually was, but still three people, two uh, together and then one by himself. That's a lot of people to be out in Polito. Uh, but nonetheless, that was a pretty good call. What in the holy shit is going on at the bank? Those motherfuckers, I think they were leaving at the same time. Okay, so uh, it's been pretty good out here in Polito. I'm pretty impressed with uh, the call ratio we've had for such a small ass area. But uh, we are 10 8, so I'm gonna go 10 8. Turn up the radio a little. And it is statewide too, so it does make it nice with just the collection of kind of calls that go out and stuff like that. Definitely not bad. Oh my god, I thought that car was parked the whole time. I didn't know they were actually in it. That's, the, oh, that's crazy. Das crazy. Oh, that trailer is just fucking up shop right in the middle of the lane there, dude. That is not good. All right, we're, we're leaving Polito. Uh, we're going to head more to the county and see if we can get anything else out there. That oh, bike was going hella fast, dude. Like super fast. Let's see if we can get a speed on him. He's almost all the way out to fucking... Polito already, that's how fast he was going. I saw him and I was like, is that a highway patrol or some type of law enforcement? But with the speed they were going and turning, I thought that that was very unlikely. Three Charlie, four alert. We'll Three see if we can try to good. catch him. He's going over 100. Got a code zero. Yep. He has to be. If you're going that fast <laughs> and I'm going 100 and there's no way to catch up, then that definitely means that uh, you're speeding. Get out of the fucking way. Oh, I think I see him on the right here. Wonder if he went back out that way. Who is he pulling over? The truck? Oh, yeah. Where did the biker go? How could the biker have dipped like that? Fuck. Okay, well, that didn't Five, work. I'm going to turn around here and we're going to go back towards the county. Unfortunately, I had a high rate of speed biker, but he did some maneuvers that made it pretty much impossible to keep up with them. Uh, unless he dipped off into one of these farms or just back roads or maybe a store or something like that. Who knows? But if I see him again, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to pick him up for his speed. Okay, so they found the uh, motorcycle driver. He's back in the county where we are now. Seen the second time going over 100 miles per hour. There's still North Panorama. Panorama's right down here. I've been looking for that dude since fucking Polito Boulevard. I Bob want his Bob ass. Bob Panorama. Come on, baby. Up Go ahead. East Alhambra. East Alhambra. Side. Panorama <laughs> Drive near Joshua. Okay, Panorama Drive nearest Joshua. Five, We're actually eight, not three. far from that, that location. All black, all, black all clothing. Affirmative male wearing all black clothing with a black helmet. He's gonna play hard to get, I can feel Copy. it now. What's he wanted for? Speed over 100. Uh, the whole vehicle and traffic section of the penal law. <laughs> there it is. Seems legit. What? Fucking great. The whole section. Just everything. Fucking classic. Alright, well, looks like that was not uh, gonna be our cup of tea on that one, unfortunately. We tried to get over, set up to the location that we thought he was gonna be, because uh, we were sitting on the dirt road here, and I was kind of trying to track it, and I was like, oh shit, we're actually just down ahead from that, or just back up ahead from that. I don't think using the word back and ahead works together. <laughs> like, this it doesn't work. Holy shit. I'm gonna get my plate changed. Here we go. We got it. Walkie 24, I can advise that's a bike I saw earlier doing the same thing. Yep, I appreciate it. I'm also on your six. Five zero eight will have that way. Smoke tree road. I copy. Three ten one thirty five ten eleven traffic. One thirty five good. Ten eleven cat. Oh, you know he's probably gonna take off, but. Black bike occupied times one black clothing. I am one K twenty four with me, I believe. 
I copy. I think I was already attached to that, though. Yeah. He see he came I right through the this. area. Also there. Um, see if we get his license. The first thing, if we can get the license. At least we can okay. know to where to track him. Alrighty. Yeah, this looks like the guy I had earlier, but of course I didn't get a plate because he was going over a hundred. Yeah. Uh, he blew a stop sign, failure of the maintain lane, speed in the gun. How's it going, yeah. sir? I'm deputy of the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. You're only being pulled over today. Why don't I have Drove the stripes on? I've been wanting to use those lately. Go ahead. There All right, we so go. Here's the deal. Back, uh, we got some numerous reports of you, uh, murder officers. Not uh, even numerous. Uh, I witnessed it. Call that you were erratically line. driving around Blaine County and the city, possibly. The city? You remember any of that? No, sir. I've never I think okay. What could I get? Must be on. Must be smoking something, or because they didn't see me. Okay, well, can I get your license registration proof of insurance for the vehicle just so we can check back and make sure everything's clean and clear and then we should be able to get you out of here? Oh, yeah. As long as, 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 long as we can get sure that license, we'll be good. Uh, go ahead. 130, what's your 20? I'm gonna be under Route 68 bridge. I kept him Oh, what are you doing, buddy? Don't hit anyone's car. Keep it up. Keep it up. Sir, where are you coming from? Probably coming from out in the uh, northbound and from Polito, because that's where we we're tracking him from. Even though he was going towards Polito, doesn't doesn't mean he didn't come back out here to San and, or to the Blaine County like he did, um, and then get picked up by another unit as he came was about to go back to the freeway, probably head either to the city or go back northbound. I saw you on the 13 near the silos going over. I think everyone saw. And then you can have the code for a bad channel of whiskey one. Uh, Route you know, 68, man. right up there. Got one times whiskey. Show me code number 68746. Code 4, both teams back to me. 0243. Alright, give me a second here. I'm gonna go have a look at this. And then I'll be back with you, alright? Right. This the isn't good. Five, does the 497 good? Uh, just, I know I do you wanna take a look at this? Does this look legit to you? Okay. Yeah, I'll look at it. Hold on. I don't know, something seems a little sketchy, something seems a little, uh, off about it. Doesn't look like the normal San Andreas licenses. Oh, we better get this guy's name, which he takes off, we're not knowing shit. Fox Siri, can you copy down the license plate for this traffic stop? Bravo, bravo. At least the plate he can't, uh... I got Bravo, Bravo 3. I don't know. Here, take that. I'm going to see if I could find any other identifying things that we could get yeah. on them. What the fuck? Oh, that was... Uh... Yeah, let's, see what, let's, see what, let's see if the, the uh, plate comes back to you. I'll yeah, run the name, there. too. See if they correlate. We go from there. Yep. So you got that was uh, Groupie 6, I think, that just passed in the Charger. I was like, who the fuck is that? That's Groupie 6. So he didn't deny uh, being the person that I was looking for. Like, I think he does have a gun on his hip too. Maybe just bulky pants. It's hard to tell. It would be on his right hip right there, but I'm not seeing anything that resembles a gun really. So I guess that is good. All right. So this this play comes back to the uh, John Feltzer. Did he say it's his bike? Did you by any chance? Oh, knew it. Fox Siri, taking off towards Panorama. Go, go, go. Alright, I knew it, I knew it. I, I said we better right. get that fuck Stop. he just pulled off. I copy. 24, it's gonna be northbound 13, he's gonna be opposite lanes. I kept northbound 13, opposite. Now he's gonna be going southbound 13, correct lanes. Now northbound 13. Copy. 
by me, so he continued northbound. Motherfuckers, I'll get in out of your way, hold yeah, on. Go, uh, ice. Hey, stop, dude, just stop. Just stop. Come here. Yeah, he's making circles around here. I'm gonna taser him off the bike. Deployed. I don't ha I don't have a taser anymore. Turn away from me. <laughs> Turn away from me. Face Let's away, just face away. Shit. On your that was stomach. a beautiful taser. <laughs> like shit. Fuck. You didn't actually taser that, Benny? On your stomach. No, I lost it Put over there on the garbage. Spread your feet out to your side. One five one. One five one. Smart later. <laughs> Negative. That was two tasers. We had shot one earlier. Right, stand up. Oh my damn shoulder hurts. I got Shit. you. Fucking a. Oh. We just we just yeah, made that so you, much bro? easier. Oh, Intervention God. timer, my ass. You're gonna sit there and run from cops at 100 miles per hour. Where's that? So much simpler. That's gonna be in my bag. Thank God for tasers, dude. In your bag, all right. True plus, Although I've heard of stories of people that have had heart problems getting it. tasered and yeah. it hasn't turned out too well. But I don't think that's an every person situation. Southbound, 13. Clear our units, our units, 0 2 4 8 2 6 1 hundred I'm gonna look at the bike. Oh, kill it, kill it, taser. Yeah, appreciate it. Who tased them? That's a good chat. Uh, <laughs> well, he kept go. I, I asked him very nicely when he came right back to my door to get off the bike, and then he yeah. fled. <laughs> and so I said, okay. Well, I mean, look, the, the thing was, is I was turning around to stop, or to, to, to come stop for you, and... I mean, uh, well, actually, you sped up at about 45 to 50 miles per hour after being about 15 miles per hour, so that doesn't indicate stopping, that indicates you're going to really take off fast. <laughs> so, fire control calling ambulance four to station four. Ambulance four to station four. Can I be in route? Air Force three oh six, southbound route thirteen. Three oh six, southbound route thirteen. Yeah, I, know, I, I dabble in uh, one time taser deployed. Time out. In uh, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Just some type of dart. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't fucking play dart. Like. <laughs> you dabble. I just dabble. Okay, bike's Five good. One. Let's. I'm gonna get this up. Where do you think a 151 you available? Yes, sir. <sighs> I uh, yeah, let's get checked the suspect's like ear port. He has nothing visibly on him, well, so I don't consider him a threat. Okay, we can have that wasn't bad at all. Yo, what are you doing shit. with a gun without a serial number on there? 10-4, show me reporting. Well, that's sketchy. Oh, that's always oh good. God, you, got a, you got a lot of charges, bro. My concern was is we didn't know his actual name, and he was already going over 120 miles per hour, so... We would have yeah, never known exactly. who that guy was. Yeah, that, that, that what he gave me looks completely legit. Well... That was quick, though. Alright, I'll get, I'll run him through the data. I'll run him through the database. See what comes back, and then uh, we have to we can fill out a cert, cert for him. Yeah, I mean he was okay. witnessed over three times going over 100 miles per hour. I personally tried to catch him and find him, but I didn't even think it was worth calling it in until I heard someone else say it. So. Does he have any compartments on this bike? Or no, anything? it's clear. All right. All right, I'm gonna get him. Uh, I'm gonna start his report. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna clear off here too. So I wanna do a 51. Do we have tow coming or? Two I can ask. I don't know if it's five. county or what. If not, if you guys want, I could run back, grab the truck, and then bring it back, or we could just count it. Um. Let me just re verify. Hold on. I don't see any active tubs. There it is, tubs. I don't know what that means. Lucky 24 dispatch. Do we have any active 51s for this call here? Mile marker 3. Yeah, Lucky 24 control. You're going to have tow 151 in route. Yeah, thank you. Perfect. 
Oh, we must have just not All been right. paying attention. I'll go ahead and wait with the uh, <laughs> bike then. We're at some good. Okay. I'll be back. Uh, All right, guys. Uh, they only took my car. There are a couple of them left from Point Sam Guido. I mean, if one of the HP guys wants to wait too, that's fine. I just, I have nothing else to rush off to. I'll, 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 I'll wait. I have to find my taser too. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. Good. 10 11 on Palomino Avenue near Circle 726. It's going to be a light blue utility truck occupied one time. Plate when ready. Good. Say so what now? 28 Edward Ocean Sam 483. You found it nice. Yeah. Picking it up. I had yeah, shot one and then. All the cops swarmed him, so I just threw it down because I thought we were going to take him down there, but then we all huddled in a big circle, so. I got you. Uh, just a taser deployment. Okay. Where were you uh, tased, man? Did that oh, end up being a fake ID? Yeah. On your yeah, back, you okay. fake ID. Yeah. He probably has some abrasions from falling face first on his chest and stuff, but other than that, he should be fine. Eh, he can shake it up. He was bewildered, though. He almost said 22 that. <laughs> I was like, nah, that's not how it works. He was like, what? he was lost for words. He was like, uh. I don't think he, knew, I don't think he knows what hit him. No, it was one of those things that it just kind of happened, and then you were on the ground type things. Oh, 22 that. <laughs> Fell off the bike. Because that oh, just happens bad. all the time. Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah, no, I, earlier I was, I, was, I was behind a vehicle that was, like, driving up to a scene. Just launches out of the car and just rolls on the highway. Yeah, that would make a little more I sense. Just go up and yeah, I just I go up to him and I'm like, yeah, that's one way to do it. But a bike, he's fully exposed, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was quick medical treatment. <laughs> mm -hmm. Having major problems getting inside that car. Well, we were able to end that one quickly, at least. That's nice. We didn't have... Oh, we did have the bike cop. That would have been on keep up with him, at least. Yeah, but it would have just been a bunch of fuckery going... He looked... I mean, look in the yeah, 45 annoying. seconds that he was running. He went back... Or he flipped, like, 12 bitches. So, that's what it like would have would have been times, right there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, the the marks and the units are, or the car is just going to have to stop in place because they can't keep up. See, it's his fault for realizing that I was outside of the car and I told him to stop. And then he decided to come back around. I heard, I heard you. I heard you. Hey, man, can you please just get off the bike? Well, yeah, as, as I was saying that all nicely, I was getting my taser ready and you saw it. Then he took off. And then I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get back in the car like you think I'm going to do. I'm just going to hop the guardrail and get set up for a shot. And it worked. You can show yep. me back, Penny. Of course, you're back in service. That's why being unpredictable when everything we do in this game is so predictable is the best. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's true. All right, where is this tow truck? Foreseeing stuff. Well, he just told us how... Yeah. What is that? You see the... Uh... I'm going to tell the HP since it's his territory. Hold on. Hey, since it's your jurisdiction, you see those two red tail lights over there facing the wrong direction on the highway? You might want to go check that out. I have no idea what the fuck that is, but they are doing something wrong. They've been there for a solid minute. Oh, yeah. I've been watching them, and I just I was waiting for them to either disappear or kind of move, but they haven't moved. God damn, that charger is slick as shit. Especially the way it just rolled off like that. 
Oh shit! Yeah, now that, now that I'm now that I'm talking to you, actually, I, I mean to ask you, like, or, or let you know, um, if if you wanted to at any time get that FIB project back up, feel free to contact me. Like, I totally I totally get it that you wanted to hold off on it, so we just kind of put everything on hold. But you know, if you want to consider it again, dude, I'm totally down to uh, working out with you. Yeah, I have no interest in that right now. Whatever happened last okay, time yeah, totally just, ruined cool. my interest in it, so it's gonna take a while for me to even regain it. No, fair enough. That's no problem. I think that's a local, so we don't have to worry about it. Yeah. Monkey 24 dispatch. We have an ETA on that. Oh. Stand by 2151. You got 26. Heading on the uh, freeway past Pillbox so Hill. Oh, he's far. Yeah, really far. <laughs> if you want, dude, you can get off and I'll wait. Well, there should be an HP here, but I sent him off. Um, but yeah, if you want to go ahead and take it over, that'd be great. That way I'm not sitting here for 10 minutes. Yeah, dude. No, no, don't worry about it. All right, I appreciate it. See you later. Yep. See you, man. All right, so we are good here. That was a pretty quick, successful takedown of the suspect and his bike. Uh, luckily, we were able to get set up in a pretty good position. Oh, seems legit. They're just sitting up on the fucking hill there. I don't know what happened with them, but quite interesting. I kind of saw him and I was like, uh, HP, you should probably go check that out. Doesn't seem too legit that a car is just sitting up there like that. Uh, but that was good. I kind of had a feeling from the get-go that that guy was probably going to run from us because that's usually how it goes. He's going to turn right. Nope, he turned left. Um, you know, people will act sketchy. They'll give fake information. Monkey 24. 24, what's the status? I just pulled off a scene. I'll be 10-8. Nope, we got a new call assignment. Monkey 24, it's got a new call assignment. Call number 68752. There's postal 320, Chansky Paskage. It's gonna be an officer. 10 11, damn, you're not there. That's 97. Monkey 24, I copy, I'll be around. 320, yeah. Chansky Paskage. Passage. That does not sound familiar. Here we go. Okay, it's not too far out, so we're gonna have to hop back on the freeway here, but it wants us to go through Josh. Actually, it would be faster if we go through Joshua. It's going to be a 10-11 uh, backup. I don't think it's going to be a 71 request or anything of that nature, so... I'm not exactly sure. I'm going to take the dirt road, because it'll be a lot faster. For some reason, people love to drive slow. Alright, we're pulling up on scene here. Fuck, that's a lot of traffic. Come on, people. Come on. Someone turn, that way I can go. Thank you. Alright, let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. Should be a traffic stop. Oh, these guys again. Walking 24, I'm 23. Alright. I can't 23. Yes, sir. Can I have you what go into happened? this deputy's car for me? Can I have you I can't do anything wrong. Okay, well, you're not under arrest. You're just being detained for investigation. Oh, oh, come on, man. Come on. Really? Is this necessary? Damn, Damn he's pretty strong. He's I know, he's super strong. Whoa, well, get the fuck out of my blood. car. How did that happen? <laughs> you better watch out. <laughs> I apologize. It, just get over here and watch your head. What are you doing? I, I what? Dude. Get out of the car. You mind if I sit in your car really Yeah, quick? go ahead. Or no, I'm gonna you know kick this guy's it. ass. There we go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sometimes I get oh a little excited. God. You'll be I'm good. I'm so sorry. You'll be good, Beef. Don't worry about right, it. I'll talk to you guys over here. So I'll tell you what's happening if you want to come over here real quick. Yeah, just explain it right here. I mean, there's no one else talking, so. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> like, okay, so I'm pulling the vehicle over there, the one with the shattered windows, and there are two guys in the car, the cameraman and the guy that you just put in your car. Pull them over for uh, running three Bye -bye. stop, two Bye -bye. stop signs. And as I did, there was an old man who was sitting this in my car. Guys, hell loud. Them, so it's three six six from thirteen. Walk out and start fighting, and I went ahead and restrained them both, okay. put them in cuffs, trying to figure out what's going on. Okay. Yeah. I missed the middle part of that because I had to turn my 
ears down. Um, okay. Uh, go ahead. Say the middle part again. Why do you? Why? Why is one detained? And what's what? Yeah. So after I pull, after I pulled him over, the old man that's in my car came up to the dry, uh, window of the passenger yeah, side and well. threats were exchanged. There's an old oh motherfucker. Out and started fighting each other. At that point, I tased both of them and put them in cuffs. Oh, so the old old man's away. here. Yeah, oh, okay. well, I already know what happened then. It's yeah, an incident that her happened sense. earlier in Polito. Um, oh, okay. So, right. who did you see them both assaulting each other? Basically, the old man started the provocation, and then the guy me, in your car stepped do you out. Do you mind not standing behind them? Okay. Um, okay, I'll stand on the car. Don't stand behind me, and then he stands literally directly yeah. behind me. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Literally, literally amazing. I mean, either way, I'm gonna be behind him. Hey, sir, can you not stand behind the officer? Oh, yeah, just stand right behind the officer. The old, the old man's <laughs> awful energetic. He's already tried kicking the doors open, so I put feet restraint, foot restraints on him. So he's just sitting okay. there right now. All right. Well, let's go yeah, ahead and uh, um, take since we've had this be a, it's been an ongoing thing over the past couple of days. Let's go ahead and take both the people that are in custody right now uh, into jail for fighting in public, and um, we'll just let them sleep it off in court or sleep it off in court. That is not how it went at all. We have it all on tape. It was not everybody fighting. Everybody well, I'm not taking the guy in the camera to jail. That's not necessary because it seems like he wasn't doing anything because he's holding his camera and minds his own business, except for standing behind police when he's asked not to stand behind police. So. No, I'm the idiot in the car. So why are you in handcuffs then? Why were you deemed such a threat at some moment that you needed to be placed in handcuffs and detained? Why don't you ask your trooper why I took I'm five you. to get out of his cruiser while I was getting beat up? Well, you seem like a pretty burly man who I was last told two days ago that you were his bodyguard. So how can an old man beat you up? Because I'm not going to beat up an old man. That's just ridiculous. Oh, then you seem you like an absolute... That you. What kind of person do I think you are? An absolutely horrible bodyguard. He's really a teddy bear. Clearly, you might as well have just hired a, like, I don't know, a bubble machine? Like, what If he was threatening my boss, it would have been different, but he was sitting there kicking our car. That seems like a pretty viable threat to your boss, if you ask me. What if he had a gun? What if he had an explosive? I'm still getting arrested for being... I'm still getting arrested for I'm just curious. Yeah. Did you ever strike him? In self-defense, all on tape, 8K, my boss has the tape right there. Okay, well, I haven't... Yeah, it was self-defense until he was detained and you guys got in another fight. That was really self-defense. I'm sorry, he came after me again after after you tried to knock him down and it failed. What part of self-defense are you not understanding? There it is, he's legit. Yeah, and what about the part where you completely disregarded my instruction is to just step away so we can sort it out. You just kept on fighting and made me no. tase you. I, I stepped away from him. No, no, no. Good. I completely... I oh, it's, everything's on tape. Everything's on well, tape. Well, that's perfect. You can use in court then. Yeah, exactly. And I'm going to get off. It's going to be a waste of your time and the court's time and money. Well, that's why well, we, we have the court. When time comes. Exactly. All right. Um, All right, so just want to take them down. Yeah, to take the two individual. No, we just take them down to the jail. We don't have to go to the penitentiary. Um, just, just the jail, oh, and okay. give them like both thirty seconds to cool down, and that should be good. Sounds good to me. <laughs> and then, sure, sir, you can go ahead and take your vehicle, and if you want to be waiting to pick up your friend, you're more than welcome. Go ahead. So you wish okay. Sounds good. Okay. I'm currently down at Mission. All right, um, HP, you want to take this guy? Uh, you can go ahead. Okay. Let's have you hop out, sir. There it is. Do you know how to get out of the car? Oh, low flying planes. Okay. Thank you for your help. Yep, absolutely. Glad we got it figured out. Okay. No, I okay, so we're gonna be 10:42. That's gonna be where we wrap it up. That was uh, quite interesting. We we saw those guys at the beginning. Uh, the second call we had was with those guys, uh, and we managed to see him again 
an hour and seven minutes later. <laughs> so that's always interesting. But nonetheless, thank you all so much for coming out and watching this episode of DOJRP, getting in here with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office in the Fort Taurus, which actually did us good, or very well. I almost said good, that made no sense. But again, thank you all so much for coming out and watching, and we will see you next video.